Hi everyone, in this video I will talk about how to trigger an event uh, through a data layer within a Matomo Tag Manager. So basically I'm referring to this, uh, let's say, part of the documentation of uh, Matomo Analytics. And I got this idea of doing this video when I received actually uh, twice the same question coming from different users about Matomo Analytics. And the basic example that they were showing me is really the one that you can find here um, on the CMOS Hava uh, website, uh, which is the following one. So this case is for uh, Google Tag Manager, but we'll see that uh, we can do the same thing with uh, Matomo. So you have a data layer push, and through this data layer, you have an event, uh, which is declared, which has its own name, and then you push uh, the category of the event, the action of the event, uh, the label of the event for Google Analytics, and as well as the value. So at the beginning, I really thought that this tracking code uh, will push straight away actually an event to uh, Google Analytics, but actually that's not uh, true. Uh, what it will do is actually it will, um, let's say, of course, uh, populate the data layer with those different values, but in any cases, you need to create those uh, variables within uh, Google Tag Manager and in our case in Matomo Tag Manager in order to grab those data out. So event category, event action label in order to push those data, link click banner, and you are passed to a tag that you create, which is an event in, in Google Tag Manager. So we're going to do exactly the same thing here, but uh, with uh, Matomo Tag Manager, and uh, we will see uh, how we can after create also our own data layer. So um, according to the Matomo's uh, documentation, I don't know if we can see it up here, but uh, so if I do like a search and if I look for uh, migration from Google, okay, if you look at here, if you have used Google Tag Manager in the past and I specify the data layer on the page, blah, 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 uh, you will be happy to hear that we are supporting this as long as you have configured the data layer variable as early as possible within your website. The variable needs to be defined before the container is loaded and so on and so forth. So basically what it means here is that if you have <coughs> your own data layer uh, based on the structure of uh, Google Tag Manager, it should work fine within Matomo Tag Manager. So what I did is I created web page that you can see over here right that's a blank page at the moment but if you look at the source code so i have my um, my tag manager which is uh, defined here and here i have my uh, data layer which is here and here i have my data layer push where i push let's say all the different uh, data they have it. So uh, now if I look at my, uh, let's say, at my source code over here, and if I look at, let's say, the uh, console, okay, and if I look at uh, the data layer, so I could go over here and then uh, see that I have an array, and within my array, I have actually uh, my event, my event category, my event action, and many other things which are included within the data layer. Okay, so it really means that actually uh, the data layer is working fine. Now, uh, how can it be supported by Matomos? That's the second part. So uh, in order to check if uh, it's supported properly, actually it is because I already made some tests before, but uh, what you can do is uh, just uh, put your uh, web page within the preview mode. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I set my configuration, my Atomo Tag Manager in a preview mode. And if I look over here uh, in preview mode, so let's look at here, uh, you have here the data layer tab, apps. And if I look at the data layer tab, I will see that actually um, the data layer is properly filled with a different value that I can find here, right? So even if it's as the documentation said, even if it's um, a GTM configuration, it will work fine. So once uh, you are populating actually your um, data layer with those values, you can uh, start to play with it. So if I look right now at my uh, tag manager over here, that's what I'm going to do. 
Um, so as previously said, actually, I created for each of those uh, different variables the, let's say, the event action, the event category, the event label, and the event value. Uh, it was very simple to do, right? I just had to click here on data layer. And here, um, I could have put any name that I wanted, but just for convenience, I just went uh, over here and I just, let's say, like, oops, copy and paste, uh, let's say, the add value of my variable. And I went over here and I just copy and paste it. So this one is just for you guys, okay? So it's just in order to um, uh, to have, like, say, a nice name that you can still remember within the structure. And this is where all the magic happens. So this is the name that Matomo Tag Manager is expecting to find back within uh, the value of your Tag Manager in order to work with it, okay? So that's the one that you, sh that you should not mess up with. And it's a type uh, data layer. So all you need to do, let's say, in order to recognize all those values within uh, the data layer is uh, actually to define those uh, different variables. Okay, so those, uh, those four in my case. So <clears throat> I created them out. And what I did is I created actually a tag. So this is my uh, Matomo events tag that I created and that my Matomo events tag, it has a Matomo configuration explaining where the data will be sent. It is an event tracking. And then I'm picking up actually all my uh, four variables. And here I'm deciding actually where I mean when this event will be triggered. And in my case, it's every time that actually we can see that there is uh, the event, which is the following one, right? Which is, whoops, let's do it like this. When this is the GR event, which is uh, declared, actually I could call it uh, NTM event. That would be the same thing. But uh, here, what is firing actually the event is really the value event. So that's the one that we're picking up here. And in order to create this trigger, what I need to do, of course, is to create the associate trigger. So that's uh, where I went to. So I went on trigger and I created a custom event and I give it as a name, the um, value GR event. Okay, so just for convenience here, I'm just gonna, let's say maybe name it like MTM. Then the event name is MTM. Okay, so this is what I did. I created like this. So it's a custom event, which has a name, which is MTM event. But this one, once more, it has no real value, right? That's just for you in order to find it back within your uh, UI. But this is the one that you want to play with. It's the MTM event. So here in my case, for example, I'm just going to uh, publish it. So I'm just going to say MTM event, MTM event, and publishing it, okay? So it's sent, and now I'm just gonna let's say, change it a little bit here and just say MTM, MTM, okay. So now what's gonna happen is when I will, uh, let's say, refresh my page, it will, in any cases, execute this script. So as a result, it will push to the data layer a JavaScript event, which has the name MTM event, and which has also within uh, the same data layer four different uh, variables and those variables are event category which has for value value for event category event action which has this value event label which has this value and this which has this value as those variables have been created within Matomo tag manager I could easily uh, grab them out and pull them in uh, within um, uh, within Matomo analytics just for convenience as well I'm just gonna let's say just name them MTM just for me in order to recognize them within the back office of Matomo. <clears throat> and for you to recognize that I'm not lying, let's say. OK, so uh, let's refresh my page. So I have my page, which is up here. And just going to refresh it. So as I refresh it, um, actually, just going to remove this stuff. OK, so as I refresh it, normally uh, it should have sent actually the data out to Matomo Analytics. So as an event. So let's uh, look at it over here. Uh, more actually, one thing which is very well explained here in the documentation, uh, keep in mind that this, 
This does not send an event to Matomo, but allows you to create a tag in Matomo and Adrian that can react based on this event. And I think that this explanation is pretty clear, and that's the thing that I did not understood, I uh, did not understand first uh, when I looked at uh, where uh, some guys actually introduced me to the concept of the data layer push event. I really thought that actually at the beginning, uh, this event will send straight to an event to Matomo Analytic, which is not the case. Um, so here we are. So let's go and visit our log and let's look at uh, today's date. So uh, here you can see that uh, as I may have refreshed twice the page, it's uh, MTM for event category, MTM. So it works fine. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. But uh, what I have not yet tested yet is uh, actually what uh, does it look like when it's uh, the var MTM? Because so far it's only with um, the data layer of uh, Google Tag Manager that I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over here. And here, instead of using the data layer of Google, I'm going to use the one of uh, Matomo. So here, as you can see, the only information that I need to get uh, rid of are uh, those. So just, just after the comma. OK. so. I think I got it. So that's going to be from here to here. OK, and let's uh, remove these parts. And let's add this one here. Uh, let's, yeah, I think I can keep it like this. Uh, let's keep these parts and let's add it here, right? Oops. OK, and now uh, just my scripts and OK, oops. OK, so normally that should um, give you exactly the same result. So that's what I'm going to check right now. So let's go over here and let's um, let's check. I'm going to use actually the um, I'm going to use the debug mode. So I'm going to use this debug mode in order to check that the data layer is still fulfilled as well. So please specify an ID for the container. So that should be fine. OK, so whoops, let's ajout the biotech. OK, great. So uh, let's take these parts out and let's go over here. OK, and let's copy and paste it. Um, so here, let's see if I have still have my data layer. So still have my data layer, seems to work uh, fine. Actually, I could uh, definitely just go within the MTM custom event and check if, uh, let's say, the data are properly uh, fulfilled with. And uh, yeah, seems that actually it's sending uh, still properly those data. So if I check back here, I should see uh, maybe that uh, four times um, that the let's say event have been declared. So let's uh, so one, two, three, four. So that's what I said. So yeah, it works uh, the same way by using actually the MTM uh, data layer. And the last uh, things that I wanted to do is uh, actually to tell you the truth, I still have not um, understood actually. Um, what uh, this is all about, right? Um, what is this uh, all, let's say, tracking about? And um, I mean, what's the point, right? You could definitely do exactly the same thing by using uh, Matomo Tag Manager through the UI without hard coding anything like this. But from what I understood, actually, uh, the point here of uh, using uh, such a technique could be that uh, you can use it like uh, the old way we used to track, let's say, a button or things like this. So I'm going to explain myself uh, right now by doing uh, a couple of modifications to my uh, code. So I'm going to add like uh, a button, right? I'm going to add a button. And uh, so my button is going to be click me fire an event. OK. And that's 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 my button. Okay, so here I have my button, and on my button, I wish I could have some JavaScript like this, equal, and then 
um, I should offer a possibility here to, let's say, track the interaction of this button. So I'm going to add the script, and I think this is where all the magic is happening. So this is my script. So, OK. So I keep this one, and I need to get rid of this part and this part. OK, so basically what I would like to do here is if I click on this button, I will be able to uh, push to the data layer those information. And so just for convenience, events. Um, so let's just say click me. It's just going to be a click me. And works and that's it. okay so here i have like kind of uh you remember when you were using maybe in the past matomo you used the underscore uh, pack push in order to send some data straight away to matomo um same thing that we are doing here on click and on click what i'm gonna do i'm gonna push to uh, the data layer um, a JavaScript event, which is named MTM event, so it doesn't change anything, but it's going to push as a category, click me, it works, and uh, let's say if it does, uh, it means that um, it will work, and then that I will have understood actually uh, how events uh, are working thanks to the data layer in Matomo Tag Manager. So uh, let's go for it. So let's uh, refresh my page here. So. Uh, if I refresh my page normally, yes, as you can see, um, I do not have yet the Matt more events which is fire because normally uh, it will fire only based on the click which is made on my button. Um, and if I click, it will push an event. And as this event is declared as a um, condition to trigger the tag, it should work out. So let's let's try. So here I clicked on the button. And as I clicked on it, it fired the MTM custom uh, event. So that's the one. Um, so it should have worked, I guess. Uh, here you have a all element click, which is fired as well. I don't know what's the point of this all element click. So uh, let's let's look at our tags first, and let's see if. I have actually in the past, um, yeah, actually in no triggers. In the past, uh, did I create any any triggers? Okay, that's the reason I guess why something happened is because I created one. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this one because I was a bit surprised to see that I had one. Okay, so I created it and now I'm just gonna publish again. So. Uh, without all element clicks. Okay. And let's. Okay, I'm going to keep the uh, preview and debug. Okay, let's let's do this again. So, uh, so the DOM is ready. Okay, and now if I click here, it's firing actually the custom event, but as you can see, all element clicks are not fired. So now if I'm lucky enough. Normally, I should see within uh, Matomo Tag Manager that at least uh, one, two, three, uh, four, let's say, uh, four events have been fired. So, four, um, uh, let's say, four data layer push have been, uh, let's say, executed. So, let's let's uh, look at it. So, I'm just going to refresh my page here and see uh, how it goes. And here, as you can see, I got my click me, it works, MTM for event. And here I have my click me, it works. So um, it works fine. So yes, definitely. As you can see, I do not have to add uh, any additional uh, data layer here in order to make uh, these clicks work. Uh, I just had to put an on-click here with MTM push in order to push to the data layer my custom event with the different value that I want. So here it is for this video. I hope that it uh, helped you actually understand a little bit more, um, let's say, what is uh, 
uh, an event, when we are talking about, uh, let's say, a custom event, when we are talking about a Matomo tag merger, um, and uh, hope that it helps. Thank you for watching.